Question 1. How should you react when you see a school bus stop 400 feet sign? A. Increase speed to pass the area quickly. B. Prepare to stop if a school bus is present. C. Ignore the sign as it's only for buses. Answer. B. Prepare to stop if a school bus is present. This sign alerts drivers to an upcoming school bus stop. Question 2. What is the appropriate action if you encounter a wrong way sign while driving? A. Continue driving in the same direction. B. Slow down and cautiously continue. C. Safely turn around or exit the road. Answer. C. Safely turn around or exit the road. This sign indicates you're going against traffic. Question 3. What does a no passing zone sign indicate and how should you respond? A. You can pass if no vehicles are in sight. B. Overtaking is prohibited until the end of the zone. C. The sign is only a suggestion. Answer. B. Overtaking is prohibited until the end of the zone. This sign indicates a no passing area. Question 4. How should a driver interpret an amenities available sign on the highway? A. Services are available immediately. B. Services such as food and gas are upcoming. C. The sign is for tourists only. Answer. B. Services such as food and gas are upcoming. This sign indicates nearby amenities. Question 5. What rules apply to a lane marked with a bike lane sign? A. The lane is for bicycles only. B. Cars can use it for turning. C. Parking is allowed in the bike lane. Answer. A. The lane is for bicycles only. This sign indicates a dedicated lane for bicycles. Question 6. What precautions should you take at a railroad crossing? A. Increase speed to cross quickly. B. Look and listen for trains and be prepared to stop. C. Railroad crossings are always safe to cross. Answer. B. Look and listen for trains and be prepared to stop. Always be cautious at railroad crossings. Question 7. What does a no parking anytime sign mean for drivers looking for parking? A. You can park for a short time. B. Parking is not allowed at any time. C. Parking is only prohibited during business hours. Answer. B. Parking is not allowed at any time. This sign strictly prohibits parking. Question 8. How should you respond to a high occupancy vehicle? HOV. Find sign on a freeway. A. Use the HOV lane only if your vehicle meets the requirements. B. All vehicles can use the HOV lane. C. The sign is for information only. Answer. A. Use the HOV lane only if your vehicle meets the requirements. This sign indicates fines for improper use of HOV lanes. Question 9. When you see a do not pass sign, what should your driving behavior be? A. You can pass if the road ahead is clear. B. Do not pass other vehicles until it's safe and legal. C. The sign applies only to trucks. Answer. B. Do not pass other vehicles until it's safe and legal. This sign indicates a no passing zone. Question 10. How do you use information provided by posted distances signs on highways? A. To calculate fuel needs. B. To know the distance to upcoming destinations or exits. C. These signs are for long haul truckers only. Answer. B. To know the distance to upcoming destinations or exits. These signs help with navigation and trip planning. Question 11. What action should you take upon seeing a keep left sign on a multi-lane road? A. Stay in the right lane. B. Merge left as indicated. C. The sign only applies to large vehicles. Answer. B. Merge left as indicated. This sign directs traffic to keep left. Question 12. How should you prepare for an upcoming intersection if you see a yield ahead sign? A. 
speed up to cross the intersection quickly. B. Be prepared to yield to other traffic at the intersection. C. Ignore the sign as it's just a caution. Answer. B. Be prepared to yield to other traffic at the intersection. This sign indicates a yield point ahead. Question 13. What does a flagman ahead sign indicate and how should you adjust your driving? A. Drive as you normally would. B. Speed up to get past the area quickly. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop for directions. Answer. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop for directions. This sign warns of road work and flagging ahead. Question 14. How do you identify and use a lane marked by a carpool lane entrance sign? A. Use the lane regardless of the number of passengers. B. Enter if you meet the carpool requirements. C. It's a suggestion for reducing traffic. Answer. B. Enter if you meet the carpool requirements. This sign is for lanes designated for carpool vehicles. Question 15. What does a yield to uphill traffic sign indicate on steep roads? A. Uphill traffic has the right of way. B. Always stop and wait for uphill traffic. C. The sign is only for trucks and buses. Answer. A. Uphill traffic has the right of way. This sign means to yield to vehicles going uphill. Question 16. What should you do when you see a detour sign while driving? A. Follow the detour route. B. Ignore the sign and continue on the same path. C. The detour is optional. Answer. A. Follow the detour route. This sign indicates an alternative route due to road closure or construction. Question 17. How should you respond to a through traffic merge left sign on a highway? A. Merge left if you are continuing through. B. Stay in your current lane regardless. C. Only trucks need to merge left. Answer. A. Merge left if you are continuing through. This sign indicates that through traffic should merge left. Question 18. What is indicated by a telephone available sign on a highway, and how can it be useful? A. It's a historical marker. B. It indicates the nearest telephone for emergencies. C. Telephone services are no longer used. Answer. B. It indicates the nearest telephone for emergencies. This sign helps drivers locate emergency communication points. Question 19. What precautions should you take when driving on a road with a two-way traffic sign? A. Drive in the middle of the road. B. Be aware of oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. C. The sign only applies during rush hour. Answer. B. Be aware of oncoming traffic in the opposite lane. This sign warns that traffic flows in both directions. Question 20. What is the significance of a slower traffic keep right sign on highways? A. It suggests slower vehicles to use the right lane. B. All traffic should move to the right lane. C. It's a recommendation not a rule. Answer. A. It suggests slower vehicles to use the right lane. This sign is for traffic management and safety. Question 21. How should you adjust your driving in response to a yield sign? A. Speed up to merge quickly. B. Prepare to stop and yield to oncoming traffic. C. Ignore the sign if the road seems clear. Answer. B. Prepare to stop and yield to oncoming traffic. A yield sign requires drivers to give way to other road users. Question 22. What action should you take when approaching a T-intersection sign? A. Proceed straight ahead. B. Prepare to stop and yield as your road is ending. C. Turn immediately without stopping. Answer. B. Prepare to stop and yield as your road is ending. A T-intersection sign indicates that the road you're on will end. Question 23. How does a one-way sign affect your driving direction on a street? A. You can choose any direction. B. Travel only in the direction indicated by the sign. C. 
The sign is for informational purposes only. Answer B. Travel only in the direction indicated by the sign. A one-way sign restricts traffic to a single direction. Question 24. What should you do when you encounter a stop sign ahead warning? A. Increase speed. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Slow down and prepare to stop at the upcoming stop sign. Answer. C. Slow down and prepare to stop at the upcoming stop sign. This sign warns of an approaching stop requirement. Question 25. How should you interpret and react to a slippery when wet sign? A. Maintain your normal speed. B. Increase speed to pass the area quickly. C. Slow down and drive with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and drive with caution. This sign indicates that roads may be slippery when wet. Question 26. What is the significance of a no U-turn sign, and what actions are prohibited? A. U-turns are allowed. B. Make a U-turn only if no vehicles are present. C. Do not make a U-turn. Answer. C. Do not make a U-turn. This sign explicitly prohibits U-turns. Question 27. How should you handle a situation where you see a pedestrian crossing sign? A. Speed up to clear the area quickly. B. Be alert and prepared to stop for pedestrians. C. Pedestrians must yield to you. Answer. B. Be alert and prepared to stop for pedestrians. This sign warns of a pedestrian crossing ahead. Question 28. What does a speed limit sign indicate, and how should you adjust your driving speed? A. Speed limit signs are only advisory. B. Drive at or below the posted speed limit. C. It's permissible to exceed the speed limit. Answer. B. Drive at or below the posted speed limit. This sign sets the maximum legal speed. Question 29. In what situations should you yield the right of way according to a yield sign? A. When other traffic is present on the intersecting road. B. Only when traffic lights are red. C. Yielding is optional. Answer. A. When other traffic is present on the intersecting road, a yield sign requires giving way to other traffic. Question 30. How do you respond to a no right turn sign at an intersection? A. Make the turn quickly. B. Do not turn right. C. Turn right if no other vehicles are present. Answer. B. Do not turn right. This sign prohibits right turns at the intersection. Question 31. What are the guidelines for approaching a railroad crossing sign with no barrier? A. Proceed without stopping. B. Look and listen for trains and be prepared to stop. C. Railroad crossings are always safe. Answer. B. Look and listen for trains and be prepared to stop, especially where there are no barriers. Question 32. What should be your immediate reaction upon encountering a falling rock sign in mountainous areas? A. Ignore the sign as it rarely occurs. B. Be alert and cautious for potential falling debris. C. Speed up to avoid rocks. Answer. B. Be alert and cautious for potential falling debris. This sign warns of the hazard of falling rocks. Question 33. How does a divided highway end sign affect your driving? A. You can drive on any side of the road. B. Prepare for two-way traffic. C. The sign has no impact on driving. Answer. B. Prepare for two-way traffic. This sign indicates the end of a divided highway. Question 34. What precautions should you take when approaching an area with a deer crossing sign? A. Drive faster to scare away deer. B. Be vigilant for deer crossing the road. C. Deer crossing signs are not important. Answer. B. Be vigilant for deer crossing the road. This sign indicates an area where deer may enter the roadway. Question 35. 
How should a driver react to a blind dragway sign on a suburban road? A. Ignore the sign and continue normally. B. Exercise caution and watch for vehicles entering. C. Speed up to pass the dragway quickly. Answer. B. Exercise caution and watch for vehicles entering. This sign warns of driveways that may be difficult to see. Question 36. What does a school zone sign indicate, and how should your driving behavior change? A. Increase speed to pass the zone quickly. B. Drive normally, as the sign is only for buses. C. Reduce speed and watch for children. Answer. C. Reduce speed and watch for children. This sign indicates a school zone with a lower speed limit and higher pedestrian activity. Question 37. How should you approach an intersection with a four-way stop sign? A. Proceed without stopping if the intersection is clear. B. Stop and yield to drivers who arrived first. C. Only stop if other vehicles are present. Answer. B. Stop and yield to drivers who arrived first. At a four-way stop, the first vehicle to stop should be the first to proceed. Question 38. What action is required upon encountering a construction zone sign? A. Speed up to pass the zone quickly. B. Slow down and be prepared for changes in traffic patterns. C. The sign only applies to construction vehicles. Answer. B. Slow down and be prepared for changes in traffic patterns. Construction zones often have altered traffic patterns and reduced speed limits. Question 39. What should you do when approaching a narrow bridge sign? A. Increase speed to cross the bridge quickly. B. Slow down and be cautious, especially if passing other vehicles. C. The sign only applies to large trucks. Answer. B. Slow down and be cautious, especially if passing other vehicles. This sign warns that the bridge has limited width. Question 40. How does a do not enter sign affect your route selection? A. Continue driving as normal. B. Enter the road to explore. C. Do not enter the road as it is restricted or one way in the opposite direction. Answer. C. Do not enter the road as it is restricted or one way in the opposite direction. This sign indicates a road you should not enter. Question 41. What should you do when you see a road closed ahead sign while driving? A. Ignore the sign and continue driving. B. Look for a detour or alternative route. C. Accelerate to pass the area quickly. Answer. B. Look for a detour or alternative route. This sign indicates that the road ahead is closed and drivers need to find an alternate path. Question 42. How do you respond to a traffic signal ahead warning? A. Increase speed to avoid stopping. B. Prepare to respond to upcoming traffic signals. C. Ignore the warning as it is just informational. Answer. B. Prepare to respond to upcoming traffic signals. This sign alerts drivers to be ready for traffic lights ahead. Question 43. What is the correct action at a stop sign when there is no painted stop line or crosswalk. A. Stop at the sign. B. Slow down but don't stop unless necessary. C. Stop where you have the best view of traffic. Answer. A. Stop at the sign. Drivers should always stop at the stop sign when there's no line or crosswalk. Question 44. How should you handle a situation with an animal crossing sign? A. Speed up to avoid animals. B. Be alert for potential animal crossings. C. The sign only applies to night driving. Answer. B. Be alert for potential animal crossings. This sign indicates areas where animals may cross the road. Question 45. What does a no left turn sign mean for your intended route at an intersection? A. Left turns are permitted outside of rush hours. B. Left turns are prohibited. C. Proceed with a left turn cautiously. Answer. B. 
Left turns are prohibited. This sign means you cannot make a left turn at the intersection. Question 46. When driving in fog, what should you do upon seeing a low visibility area sign? A. Turn on high beam headlights. B. Slow down and use low beam headlights. C. Maintain your current speed. Answer. B. Slow down and use low beam headlights. This sign warns of reduced visibility ahead. Question 47. How should you interpret a maximum speed sign on a freeway? A. The speed is a recommendation. B. Drive at or below the posted speed. C. It's acceptable to exceed this speed. Answer. B. Drive at or below the posted speed. The maximum speed sign indicates the legal speed limit. Question 48. What precautions are necessary when you see a children at play sign in a residential area? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Be extra cautious and look out for children. C. The sign is only for parents. Answer. B. Be extra cautious and look out for children. This sign indicates an area where children may be present. Question 49. How do you navigate a roundabout with a yield to traffic in circle sign? A. Enter the roundabout immediately. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. C. The sign is for informational purposes only. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Drivers should give way to vehicles in the roundabout. Question 50. What should you expect when you encounter a bump sign on the road? A. An upcoming speed bump or uneven surface. B. No specific action is required. C. The sign indicates a bump-free road. Answer. A. An upcoming speed bump or uneven surface. This sign warns of a sudden elevation change in the road. Question 51. What actions should you take if you see a hidden driveway sign? A. Speed up to pass quickly. B. Be alert for vehicles entering or exiting the driveway. C. The sign only applies to residents. Answer. B. Be alert for vehicles entering or exiting the driveway. This sign warns of driveways that may be hard to see. Question 52. How does a no truck sign affect your route if you're driving a pickup truck? A. It applies to all trucks, including pickups. B. The sign is only for large commercial trucks. C. Ignore the sign if your truck is small. Answer. A. It applies to all trucks, including pickups. This sign typically restricts all trucks from using that route. Question 53. What does it mean when you approach a dead-end sign on a road? A. The road continues but is not maintained. B. The road will end and you'll need to turn around. C. It's a warning for construction ahead. Answer. B. The road will end and you'll need to turn around. A dead end sign indicates that the road does not continue. Question 54. How should you adjust your driving in response to a hill or steep grade sign? A. Accelerate to maintain speed. B. Prepare for a change in gradient and adjust speed accordingly. C. The sign only applies to heavy vehicles. Answer. B. Prepare for a change in gradient and adjust speed accordingly. This sign warns of steep inclines or declines. Question 55. What is the appropriate behavior at an intersection with a right-of-way sign? A. The sign gives you the right-of-way. B. Always yield to other vehicles. C. Proceed only after ensuring the intersection is clear. Answer. C. Proceed only after ensuring the intersection is clear. Right-of-way signs often require drivers to check and proceed cautiously. Question 56. How should you react to a share the road sign, especially when bicycles are present? A. Bicycles should yield to your vehicle. B. Drive aggressively to assert your right of way. C. Be mindful of and courteous to bicyclists. Answer. C. Be mindful of and courteous to bicyclists. 
This sign reminds drivers to coexist safely with bicyclists. Question 57. What precautions should be taken in response to a flooded area ahead sign? A. Ignore the sign unless it's raining. B. Proceed at normal speed. C. Slow down and be prepared for water on the road. Answer. C. Slow down and be prepared for water on the road. This sign warns of possible flooding. Question 58. How do you approach a bridge with a weight limit sign when driving a heavy vehicle? A. Ignore the sign if the bridge looks sturdy. B. Ensure your vehicle's weight is within the limit before crossing. C. Weight limits are only for commercial vehicles. Answer. B. Ensure your vehicle's weight is within the limit before crossing. Exceeding the weight limit can be dangerous. Question 59. What is indicated by a no engine brake sign and how does it affect truck drivers? A. Engine braking is encouraged for noise reduction. B. Use engine brakes as necessary. C. Avoid using engine brakes to reduce noise. Answer. C. Avoid using engine brakes to reduce noise. This sign is often found in areas where noise is a concern. Question 60. How should a driver interpret a parking sign with specific time restrictions? A. Park only during the specified times. B. The restrictions don't apply on weekends. C. Parking is allowed any time for short durations. Answer. A. Park only during the specified times. This sign indicates when parking is permitted. Question 61. What is the appropriate response to a rest area one mile sign? A. Prepare to stop if you need a break. B. Increase speed to pass the rest area quickly. C. The sign is only for commercial drivers. Answer. A. Prepare to stop if you need a break. This sign indicates an upcoming area to rest and refresh. Question 62. How should you approach a two-way traffic crossing sign? on a one-way street. A. Expect oncoming traffic in the opposite direction. B. Ignore the sign and continue as usual. C. The sign indicates a two-way street ahead. Answer. A. Expect oncoming traffic in the opposite direction. This sign warns that the one-way street is ending. Question 63. What does a truck speed limit sign specifically indicate? A. All vehicles must follow this speed limit. B. A lower speed limit specifically for trucks. C. The sign is only for semi-trucks. Answer. B. A lower speed limit specifically for trucks. This sign sets a different speed limit for larger vehicles. Question 64. How do you respond to emerging traffic sign on a highway? A. Maintain your speed and direction. B. Be prepared to adjust your speed and position for merging traffic. C. The sign is only for the merging vehicles. Answer. B. Be prepared to adjust your speed and position for merging traffic. This sign indicates that additional vehicles will be entering your lane. Question 65. What actions are required when you see a no pedestrian sign? A. Pedestrians have the right of way. B. Watch out for pedestrians crossing. C. Be aware that pedestrians are prohibited in this area. Answer. C. Be aware that pedestrians are prohibited in this area. This sign indicates a roadway where pedestrian access is not allowed. Question 66. How should you interpret a right lane end sign while driving on a multi-lane road? A. Switch to the left lane if possible. B. Continue in the right lane as it will merge. C. The sign is only for information. Answer. A. Switch to the left lane if possible. This sign warns that the right lane will soon end or merge. Question 67. What does a no horns sign typically indicate, especially in urban areas? A. Honking is prohibited unless for emergencies. B. Use your horn frequently to alert others. C. The sign has no legal standing. 
Answer. A. Honking is prohibited unless for emergencies. This sign is typically used in quiet zones, like near hospitals or schools. Question 68. How should you react to a watch for ice on bridge sign in cold weather? A. Speed up to cross the bridge quickly. B. Drive as usual. Bridges don't freeze. C. Slow down and be cautious as bridges can freeze before roads. Answer. C. Slow down and be cautious as bridges can freeze before roads. This sign indicates a higher risk of ice on bridges. Question 69. What should you do when approaching an intersection with a cross-traffic, does-not-stop sign? A. Proceed without stopping. B. Be especially cautious and prepared to stop if necessary. C. Assume right-of-way. Answer. B. Be especially cautious and prepared to stop if necessary. This sign indicates that cross-traffic will not stop. Question 70. How does a freeway entrance sign affect your driving behavior? A. Slow down and prepare to stop. B. Prepare to accelerate and merge into freeway traffic. C. The sign is for information only. Answer. B. Prepare to accelerate and merge into freeway traffic. This sign indicates an approaching entrance to a freeway. Question 71. What is indicated by a no outlet sign when entering a residential area? A. There is only one way in and out of the neighborhood. B. The area is not serviced by municipal utilities. C. The sign is only for delivery vehicles. Answer. A. There is only one way in and out of the neighborhood. This sign indicates a road or area with no exit other than the entrance. Question 72. How should you adjust your driving when encountering a blind intersection sign? A. Proceed through the intersection at normal speed. B. Slow down and prepare to stop if necessary. C. The sign only applies to large vehicles. Answer. B. Slow down and prepare to stop if necessary. This sign warns of an intersection with limited visibility. Question 73. What is the proper way to navigate a traffic circle ahead sign? A. Increase speed to navigate the circle quickly. B. Slow down and yield to traffic already in the circle. C. Stop before entering the traffic circle. Answer. B. Slow down and yield to traffic already in the circle. This sign indicates an upcoming roundabout or traffic circle. Question 74. How should a driver respond to a school crossing sign? A. Ignore the sign when school is not in session. B. Drive cautiously and watch for children crossing the street. C. Speed up to clear the area quickly. Answer. B. Drive cautiously and watch for children crossing the street. This sign is used to alert drivers to areas where children may be crossing. Question 75. What are the requirements for a turn at a no right on red sign? A. Right turns are allowed after stopping. B. Wait for a green signal to make a right turn. C. The sign does not apply if no pedestrians are present. Answer. B. Wait for a green signal to make a right turn. This sign prohibits right turns on a red light. Question 76. How does a reduced speed limit ahead sign change your driving strategy? A. Prepare to reduce your speed in advance of the new limit. B. Ignore the sign and maintain your current speed. C. Only reduce speed if other vehicles are present. Answer. A. Prepare to reduce your speed in advance of the new limit. This sign warns of an upcoming change in the speed limit. Question 77. What precautions should you take when you see a fire station sign? A. Prepare to stop for emergency vehicles entering or exiting the station. B. Speed up to clear the area quickly. C. The sign is informational and requires no action. Answer. A. Prepare to stop for emergency vehicles entering or exiting the station. This sign indicates the presence of a fire station. Question 78. How do you navigate a curve with a sharp turn head sign? A. 
maintain your current speed. B. Slow down before the turn. C. The sign is just a suggestion. Answer. B. Slow down before the turn. This sign warns of a sharp turn where reducing speed is necessary. Question 79. What does a lane shift sign indicate for highway driving? A. Lanes are widening. B. Lanes are merging. C. Traffic lanes are shifting or changing direction. Answer. C. Traffic lanes are shifting or changing direction. This sign is used where lanes shift left or right. Question 80. How should you respond to a hospital quiet zone sign? A. Limit noise, including honking. B. You can make noise if it's an emergency. C. The sign has no specific requirements. Answer. A. Limit noise, including honking. This sign indicates an area where noise should be minimized. Question 81. What should you do upon seeing a slippery when wet sign? A. Increase your speed to maintain traction. B. Slow down and drive cautiously. C. The sign only applies to motorcycles. Answer. B. Slow down and drive cautiously. This sign indicates that roads can be especially slippery and dangerous when wet. Question 82. How do you respond to an end school zone sign? A. Continue at a reduced speed. B. Resume normal speed if safe to do so. C. Stop and check for children. Answer. B. Resume normal speed if safe to do so. This sign marks the end of a school zone and its reduced speed limit. Question 83. What action is required when approaching a yield sign? A. Stop completely before proceeding. B. Slow down and yield to traffic and pedestrians. C. Yield signs are only suggestions. Answer. B. Slow down and yield to traffic and pedestrians. A yield sign requires drivers to give way to others. Question 84. How should you navigate a traffic circle indicated by a sign? A. Enter at high speed to keep traffic flowing. B. Yield to traffic already in the circle and merge safely. C. Traffic circles don't require special attention. Answer. B. Yield to traffic already in the circle and merge safely. Be cautious and respectful of right-of-way rules. Question 85. What does a loading zone sign mean for parking? A. Parking is not allowed due to loading and unloading operations. B. Parking is free for all vehicles. C. It indicates a designated passenger drop-off point. Answer. A. Parking is not allowed due to loading and unloading operations. This sign designates areas primarily for vehicle loading. Question 86. How should you react to an emergency vehicle only sign? A. Only emergency vehicles can use the designated lane or area. B. All vehicles can use the area in emergencies. C. The sign is for informational purposes only. Answer. A. Only emergency vehicles can use the designated lane or area. This sign restricts usage to emergency vehicles. Question 87. What is the correct behavior at a no merge area sign? A. Merge quickly without checking for traffic. B. Proceed in your lane without merging. C. The sign only applies to commercial vehicles. Answer. B. Proceed in your lane without merging. This sign indicates that lanes continue without merging. Question 88. How should you handle a situation with a bicycle crossing sign? A. Bicycles must yield to you. B. Slow down and be prepared to yield to crossing cyclists. C. Ignore the sign if no cyclists are visible. Answer. B. Slow down and be prepared to yield to crossing cyclists. This sign warns of potential bicycle crossings. Question 89. What action should you take when you see a flood warning sign? A. Proceed as normal. B. Be prepared for potential flooding on the road. C. The sign only applies during heavy rain. 
Answer, B. Be prepared for potential flooding on the road. This sign indicates areas prone to flooding. Question 90. How does a bus stop sign affect your driving near a curb? A. It's a designated stopping area only for buses. B. You can park there when no buses are present. C. The sign allows for temporary parking. Answer. A. It's a designated stopping area only for buses. This sign indicates a reserved area for buses to pick up and drop off passengers. Question 91. What should you do when approaching an area with a falling rock sign? A. Speed up to minimize time in the area. B. Be vigilant for potential falling debris. C. Falling rock signs are rare and outdated. Answer. B. Be vigilant for potential falling debris. This sign warns of areas where rocks might fall onto the road. Question 92. How do you respond to a truck's entering highway sign? A. Ignore the sign as it applies only to trucks. B. Be cautious and watch for trucks merging into traffic. C. Maintain your speed and lane position. Answer. B. Be cautious and watch for trucks merging into traffic. This sign alerts drivers to areas where trucks may be entering the highway. Question 93. What does a high wind area sign indicate for vehicle control? A. Wind conditions do not affect vehicles. B. Be prepared for sudden gusts that can affect vehicle handling. C. Speed up to counteract the wind. Answer. B. Be prepared for sudden gusts that can affect vehicle handling. This sign warns of areas with potentially strong winds. Question 94. How should you navigate a road with a low clearance sign? A. Ensure your vehicle can safely pass under the clearance. B. Ignore the sign if you're in a car. C. The sign is for trucks only. Answer. A. Ensure your vehicle can safely pass under the clearance. This sign is critical for taller vehicles. Question 95. What does a road narrow sign indicate about upcoming road conditions? A. The road ahead widens. B. Proceed with caution as the road will become narrower. C. No change in road conditions. Answer. B. Proceed with caution as the road will become narrower. Drivers should be ready for reduced lane width. Question 96. How should you interpret a way station ahead sign? A. All vehicles must stop at the way station. B. Only commercial vehicles need to stop. C. The sign is for information and doesn't require action. Answer. B. Only commercial vehicles need to stop. Typically, this sign is directed at larger vehicles like trucks. Question 97. What action is required at a stop sign ahead warning? A. Proceed without stopping. B. Be prepared to stop at an upcoming stop sign. C. Stop immediately upon seeing the warning. Answer. B. Be prepared to stop at an upcoming stop sign. This sign alerts drivers to an approaching stop requirement. Question 98. How do you adjust your driving in response to a wild animal crossing sign? A. Increase your speed to scare animals away. B. Be alert for potential animal crossings. C. The sign is purely decorative. Answer. B. Be alert for potential animal crossings. This sign indicates areas where wild animals may enter the road. Question 99. What precautions should you take when encountering a divided highway begins sign? A. Prepare for a change to a divided highway with a median or barrier. B. Ignore the sign as it doesn't affect your driving. C. The sign indicates the end of a divided highway. Answer. A. Prepare for a change to a divided highway with a median or barrier. This sign indicates the start of a divided roadway. Question 100. How should you handle a no engine retarder brake sign in a residential area? A. Use retarder brakes freely. B. Avoid using engine retarder brakes to reduce noise. C. The sign only applies to commercial vehicles. 
Answer B. Avoid using engine retarder brakes to reduce noise. This sign is often placed in areas where noise pollution is a concern. Question 101. What is the proper action to take when you see a one-lane bridge sign? A. Speed up to cross the bridge quickly. B. Wait for the bridge to clear of oncoming traffic before proceeding. C. The sign is for information only and requires no specific action. Answer. B. Wait for the bridge to clear of oncoming traffic before proceeding. This sign indicates that the bridge is narrow and may not have room for vehicles to pass side by side.